Hi guys! Welcome back to Selena's Doodles, or welcome to Selena's Doodles if you've never been to my channel before. Um, sorry that it's been a couple days, but I figured with the Thanksgiving holiday that I would go ahead and let everybody spend time with their family, including myself. So, anyways, we're going to get back into the project that we had started the other day, which was the Old English font that I've been working on. Um, if you have ever were able to see my previous video, I'm working on my family's last name. So, um, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy and let's get into it. Okay, so, so far what we have, ah, and I dropped my pencil. Hold on. Got it. All right, so. What we've already started on, guys, was we started on the S and the O, which you can plainly see. And so today, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the B, because I have a letter B in my name. And we're going to work on... Um, uh, probably a couple more leather, letters, so just give me one second. Okay, so, the next letter is letter B, and letter B is going to be fun. So, <clears throat> like again, I'm going to place my finger right here so that I can make sure I have enough space between S and B, like I did the O and the S. And, like I said, you don't have to do that, but I do it to make sure that I don't go wee all over the place. And it helps me keep in line. <laughs> and so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, and for the letter B, there's a little swoop. We call this a little swoopy. And you're going to bring it up like so, and swoopy swoop. So, like I said, too, if you don't like the way something looks, be my guest and erase. Erasing is just fine. People do it all the time. Now, when you get to your final stage, and that'll come later, um, I recommend you cleaning up your art a little bit, because when you go in there to redo anything or retrace anything, you're going to be doing it in probably ink or whatever medium you want to um, use at that time for that um, thing, for that uh, effect that you want to get. So, what we're going to do is we got another swoopy. So, we're going to swoopy swoop. And there's a lot of swoops and little angles and stuff all up and down um, old English font. But once you're done with it and you can step back and look at it, it really makes you really like it. I mean, if you don't like it now, most of the time you'll end up liking it. Some people still don't like it, and that's fine. Um, I like it because it gives it that fancy stuff going on. And at this point, I want a little bit of fanciness going on. Because, like I said, this is for my family, and I want to make it look good for them and for myself as well. I do take pride in what I do, and so I want to make sure it looks good. And if you make mistakes, that's okay. It's what life is all about. It's mistakes. If you're not making a mistake, you're not learning. At least that's what I was told when I was growing up. If you're not making a mistake, you're not learning. And trust me, I've, I've seen my fair share of mistakes. I've done my fair share of mistakes. Yeah. Drawing is not that bad. <laughs> Um, so once we get this nice little line on this for your B, this is the back of your B, and you should be able to see how it develops. Now, since I realize that this part isn't proportional anymore to this part, I'm going to erase that. 
so that it is more loaded eastable. You want it to make it, you want it to try to be as proportional as you can get it if you're doing lettering. So that way nobody goes, uh, that doesn't look right. You could go, yeah, it does. And you could do that anyways, because it's your art. So it doesn't matter what it looks like as long as you're happy with it anyways. But to me, I like stuff proportion. I have a thing. And it's okay. So to me, proportion is something I would like to work on. In my art, especially. If it's not proportion, it, it kind of doesn't look like it fits, sort of speak. So we'll get that. Um, now what we're going to do is come over here to the B. And yes, I know we have the back, well, at least part of the back side of the B right there. But then in Old English, you know, I want to go in there and straighten that up because I, yeah. That's just looking funky. We don't want it looking weird. Oh, <laughs> not any more than what it is. Um, let's straighten that back out. <laughs> and I do recommend, like I said, doing this in pencil, um, especially if you're new to my channel. I always, 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 and always will recommend doing your art in pencil first. So that if there is a mistake, you can and will be able to erase. And I also recommend always, always drawing in light. Um, canvases, uh, they're a little trickier to draw lightly on, which that's because of the mere fact that you got the bubble stuff going on. You got the roughness going on. Um, however, I believe in always making sure... I don't like that, and I notice that's off a little bit, so we're going to fix that first. Um, but I've always know, uh, know that, um, yeah, you want to get it right. There we go. But, yeah, you, you want to make sure you're doing stuff in lighter pencil marking because if you don't and you do make a, mat, a mistake or anything and you um, go to fix it, it won't fix right. And then it, it will frustrate you because you're not able to uh, get the picture that you wanted. You're still having to cover up a whole lot of the mistake that you made. And... That takes a lot of time out of the art that you want to proceed to show. So, my recommendation is you want to tend to always draw lighter than the first go around, so that, like I said, you can erase. Um, and again, canvas is going to be different than construction paper. It's different texture. It's yeah. <laughs> Some people like working with canvases. I do. I've grown to really like it um, because then I can go in there and do what I want to do and not worry about tearing up paper. Um, some people don't like working on canvases because they say it's too hard to uh, draw what they want to draw on a canvas versus um, drawing on construction paper. And that's fine. Uh, everybody's going to have their own uh, preference on their mediums. Just like most of my coloring or anything I use. And I will, um, if you guys want me to, put that in the uh, description on what I use. So that, that way, if you want to use what I use or get what I use, um, you can. Um <laughs> Most of the time, um, when my kiddo gets his Chris, uh, school stuff, school supplies, yeah, sorry, I almost say Christmas because I've been listening about Christmas for a good month solid and, yeah. Anyways, um, when we take and get him his school supplies, usually is when I start walking to see what kind of 
mediums are coming out so I can try them because it's always good to try different stuff, especially when it comes to your art. You don't want to stay with the same stuff over and over. I mean, if you want to, that's fine, especially if you're comfortable with it, but sometimes it's okay to change up too, you know, to, to see what else is out there to kind of mess with. And there we go with that part of the bee. So I'm making the bee. Right now we're working on one of the, what I call bubble areas. Um, and so, I'm just bringing this guy down, and most of the time, if you are able to see shapes before you put them on paper, that is helpful. If you can't, that's fine too. Um, just try to take it one step at a time is pretty much the best advice I can give you because I started out rough myself um so yeah um but my biggest recommendation on using anything as a medium as your art utensil is concerned is I would definitely stick with a pencil. A number two pencil works. Um, you can all by means go ahead and get you a mechanical pencil because I know, especially uh, my husband, uh, some people have uh, problems of holding on to some uh, pencils and so if you can find one that works use it because I know some people have different problems with their hands um, I know myself I have what they call lovely arthritis and uh, that comes from years of welding so yes, I was a professional welder, got injured, and now I am concentrating on my art. And I figured sharing my art would be something I can do. I'm not saying I'm perfect at it either, so don't don't think I'm trying to be that way. <laughs> but I figure I like the way it looks. Maybe someone else that likes art might think so, too. And I know that some people like to see what others can do. And that's fine. So. To me, art is a relaxer. I like to do it. Sometimes I get a little emotional about it, yes. But that's because it's something I've been working on. And if it's something important, then I want to make sure it works great not just good but great so I might get a little picky once in a while but that's okay we all get picky once in a while especially if it's something that means something to us so it's all good in the neighborhood I'd say and I might sound stupid so if I'm sounding stupid I stall we <laughs> And then what we're going to, okay, I'm going to move a little bit closer to that one because I was a little oopsies. I made that, uh, oops, I made a oopsies thing. Even the greatest, well, not the greatest, but even the people's mess it up. It's okay. I'll just fix you. We won't say a word. Right, right. Okay, come on. We'll bring you on down and make it look so beautiful. Fancy, fancy. <laughs> We'll bring this back up like this. We went a little bit far with that one. Whoopsies. I don't think she needed to be that big. Okay, so we, we, we will fix that. We oui, wee. Oui. Uh, okay, so we, we will retouch that up um, in a little bit when we get ready to use our other medium. But for right now, this is. A-O-K-Z's or Rizzy's or however you want to talk about it. 
So, and we got the be almost done. Okay, so <laughs> it may look a little funky, but it's a lobby. Um, and it's saying the bring of this down the castle. So now we're making a fancy dancy dancy bay. The fancy dancy bouncy bay. And I put it on here like so. And I'll read it, it, it. And then it wants to get even fancy dog. Fancy dog. I didn't think I did. I, I didn't think I was going to use a word like that, but fancy dog it is. So we're going to do our swoopies that we, we did in the O, but we're just going to make them a little bit tinier than what we made them in the O because they don't need to be that prominent. Just enough to be fancy dancy. Fancy dancy dancy dancy. Fancy. Fancy B. Oh, oh, and you gotta bring that up a little bit. See. So they can see it's a B. It's a B. Fancy B, but it's a B. Zibby. Okay, so. The next letter I'm gonna go to is another O. And since I've already made an O, that shouldn't be that big of a deal, so let's go right on into her. And we're gonna do again with the placement of your finger because, like I said, you want that placement there. You, you wanna show that it's there. Um. Now give me one second. I want to fix up this beat because I just noticed something. And it's disturbing me. Just a wee bit. We better have a disturbance of the forest, man. So we're going to bring this up a little bit past that lineage. Which is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Sometimes you can fix things like this. It's okay. Okay, so then that means I could bring that back out a little bit more and make that look a little bit more out than like a thin little bee. I don't want a thin little bee. A thin little bee won't stand on its own. It needs to be broad, muscular bee. It needs to be able to say, I am here, I am here, like the Who's in Whoville, right? <laughs> okay, um, so we're going to bring this down. Okay, so that's what we got. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fix the B. All better. See, one little thing can fix everything. And I want to do the same thing that I've been doing, you know, just like working where my next letter is going to start. And this is on all the fonts. See, oh. So we already got that one O oh, right here. Now we're going to make it right here. And remember, I've got a couple more letters i got to get in here. So we don't want to make it like, oh my god, it is Gigantor. Um, okay, that's just not turning out right. So let's redo that. Now, I might start from the bottom, just because sometimes starting from the bottom of the page is so much easier than starting from the top, especially when you're making that circle. And yes, a lot of people have problems with the circles, and that's okay. Because drawing a circle sometimes, and a star, it can be a lot more complicated than drawing a straight line. And trust me, straight lines can be a butthead. But, that's okay too. So, okay. <clears throat> we got that side. And then we're going to do the inner part of that circle. And we're going to bring it back out a little bit more. Because we made the other one a little bulky. So we're going to make this bulky. A little bit junky. And that doesn't look good at all either. So we'll restart that one. And that's okay. Restarting is just muddy old fun. So 
So we want to restart that line. That is good. Good, 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 good. And then come off of it a little bit. And like I said, you want to kind of follow what you already have if you already have this letter. You don't want to go too far off because it will show. That's what I was meaning by proportions. So you want to try to keep everything at a good proportion so that your brain and everybody else's brain, and I mean, unless you want to be wacky, that's totally, totally, totally cool. It is called freedom of expression in your art. And that I will be very happy with because I, I prefer people to be very expressive with their art. I encourage it a lot. <laughs> I'd rather people be very expressive than try to be the same. Not everybody is the same. So, anyways. I noticed this O needs a little fixing. And that's okay. Again, that's why we erase. That's why we do everything in pencil. And that's why we do things light. Now on a canvas, you're not going to always get that light line, and I understand that. So the best thing to do is try to work with it the best you can. Um, just know that if you were planning on doing your letters in color, do your, be uh, do your best to not press so hard, not to uh, go back and forth with the uh, <clears throat> pencil as much. So that way you don't tend to leave that dark uh, pencil mark in there and we're gonna do this again is bring this nice lovely line up here so that that way we can connect the other side of the o. and again we're making that crescent moon shape that we made on the other one and yeah they're a little different and that's okay and you're not always gonna get it the same but you know, sometimes letters can be different too, even if they are the same type of letter. Doesn't mean they're going to be the same, same. And so what we do is we just work with it and we be nice and we give the other O the same amount of respect we gave the first one. And it's all about perspective, too. Art is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot about perspective. If, <clears throat> if you can look at art and have a good perspective on it, or figure out the perspective on it, then that's half the battle. Most people don't understand that, but art is about perspective. Everybody has a different opinion. Everybody has, sees things in a different way. Not everything is the same. And there we go. Now, what we got to do is come in here and do our little swoopy guy like we did the last time. So we will, well, what you would say at Thanksgiving is we got to stuff that turkey with some inner stuffing. Okay, I know. Probably laid on the turkey jokes. And hopefully you guys had a really good Thanksgiving. Um, I hope it was enjoyable. I hope everybody got stuffed and enjoyed their family time. I know I did. Um, me and my family really don't celebrate it like everybody else does. So we decided that we weren't going to have original turkey. We ended up eating out at a really good restaurant, so, but we know a lot of people do celebrate it, so if you did, I hope you had fun, I hope your family was enjoyable, and I hope you're ready for the next holiday. I can't say I am, but I can't say I am not. I'm in the middle, which is fine. Sometimes you don't always have to be ready for everything all the time. But no, um, 
we've got pretty much an idea of what we're doing this year for the Osborne family. So, and there we go. So far, we've gotten the second O almost done. We're going to um, fix one line, of course. These will, yeah, I put it down too far. That's okay, though. I mean, like I said, everybody's going to have a different style of how they want to do their old English. And I do understand that. And I don't mind that because, honestly, I love seeing different styles of art myself. I know I'm not the only one that has a good star, you know, good drawing aspects. Um... Okay, so the next one is or I'm gonna put the or a little further in, which is fine because um, he's not that big. Yeah. Okay. So. We're going to get on to this R that we got here. Now, the R is kind of like the B. In a way, in a way, it's not. So, um, yeah. We're going to go do ahead and do our wavy swirly like we did on the B. Okay, so, and I know that's a little close, so I'm going to move that out just a wee bit, just a little bit. I don't like it that close to that O, because like I said, nee, nee, nee. All right. See, and, and then what we're going to do with this is we're going to bring down the loopy loop. And like I said, if you get to the point where you're seeing that you might be off a little bit, if you think you need to fix something, then fix it. That's why I usually use my finger. Because things do get off centered while you're drawing. And that's okay. Just try to make it a quick fix if it happens. And that's why I always say you draw in pencil. You never, ever, 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 I mean, you can draw and pen, but there's a guarantee that if you got to fix something, you ain't going to be able to fix it. You're going to have to discard that paper or discard that whatever you were working on. And canvases are not easy, are not cheap to discard. So you would have to discard your whole project. And, and yeah, not a nice, fun feeling to do. I've had to do it with construction paper. No. That would be one of the unhappy days in the Osborne family. So, all right, so we got the back end of the R. Um, like the B, it's going to do this nice swoop and then come down. So, we're going to go ahead and get that done in one minute. We got this nice little hook at the bottom of the R that we want to get in there. It's a part of a poncy, part of the R, which is fine because we are making happy and we are making old English, so we will stay to the fanciness of it. And like I said, once you're done, it's going to be a nice piece of art for you to stand back and go, whoa. So, and that's what we're trying to make here is a whoa factor. You know, kind of like Charlotte Flair, the whoa factor. Yes, I am a wrestling fan at heart, so sometimes I will make references, which is fine. So we're going to 
gonna bring that back up like this. We had to fix a letter, part of the letter that did not look good. And that's what I mean. You wanna be able to fix that stuff when it's not looking like you want it to. And then this is probably gonna be my last letter for the day. Like I said, I'm trying to make this a couple parts because it is a very big canvas and I want to make sure everybody is understanding how to do it the right way. Yeah, we fix that. So, like I said, I will be making this more of a part series type of thing. This is probably going to be a big project, one of the big projects that I do, but I probably won't do another one like this after this one for a hot minute. Just because big projects do take a while. Um, so, and I am one of those ones that will take a nice time to make sure the project is done correctly. We're almost done with this R, guys. And I'm not saying everything has to be perfect because it doesn't. Because I know I ain't perfect. And today is my birthday, so I hope that this turns out good. My birthday video. <laughs> my art video today. I'm doing art on my birthday, which is fun. I love it. It, it helps me focus. And it makes me happy. I have no mind of doing it. All right, guys. I think we got a good thing going. Um, these are the few letters I do have, I have a couple more to do. But thank you guys for tuning in today, and I do appreciate it. I hope I didn't bore you guys to death. Um, but I will be getting into the N and the E. Um, I might fix a couple of these letters. Um, if I do, I will be showing you guys what I do so that it doesn't get confusing for you. But I again... Thank you for tuning in, especially being my birthday. I do appreciate it. Um, and I do hope to see you guys again. I will be posting another video tomorrow. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And thanks again. Bye.